here at CDFI hosted at the Institute for Financial Management and Research, IFMR, we work towards facilitating the process of financial inclusion. Our aim is to use technology to make financial services reach all those sections of the population which today are excluded from such services. Innovation is at the core of CDFI. We develop innovation projects involving digital payments and financial services in partnership with technologists and financial institutions. Some of these projects could be built from ground up, while others could be strategic interventions in large ongoing programs. Research is another critical piece. And here we are talking about focused practical research, which seeks to find out gaps in delivery of services to the poor and ways in which things can be made better and faster for him using technology. Right at the top is thought leadership in the area of design and delivery of large citizen benefit programs. Many a time this is backed by program support to drive through the new ideas and to ensure that necessary systems are put in place to sustain the change that is supported by technology. And of course, all projects need to be scalable and sustainable over time. CDFI dives deep into areas like banking, health, agriculture, nutrition, education, governance to explore ways in which payment-linked innovations can be used to transform the way services are delivered to the poor. Several research studies have been undertaken. The ongoing one is being conducted with IIM Bangalore to develop a sustainable cashless ecosystem around Kirana stores. CDFI has supported and seeded several projects which will enable access to digital financial services to millions of poor Indian citizens. CDFI, in partnership with NSTL, is developing Vidya Sarathi, a digital education platform which will link the nation's underprivileged youths with education finance options using a controlled and transparent disbursement mechanism. The Grand Kerala Shopping Festival. Here, CDFI worked to develop and test the concept of lucky draws as a means of incentivizing the customers to use electronic mode of transactions. Results have been encouraging. We now have a replicable and scalable strategy for incentivizing both merchants and customers in partnerships with government and banks for driving digital payments instead of cash. Among others, we also support the special policy initiatives taken by the government. The latest being the payments banks and more recently helping conceptualize a social security platform for the country and organizing stakeholder consultations around the concept where CDFI brought together both policymakers, business leaders and other stakeholders in one room to brainstorm on the challenges ahead in terms of regulation, technology and implementation. CDFI also is engaging with Department of Electronic and Information Technology, engaging with Department of IT and helping them develop guidelines for electronic payments and receipts. We also support Department of Posts with Research and Expenditure Management Commission, Ministry of Finance. In the agriculture sector, CDFI, in partnership with the National Agro Foundation, is developing a digital platform for farmer-producer organizations. And for this purpose, we take uh, the help of consultants and practitioners as well as approach departments, missions, ministries and work along with them to come up with uh, solutions. Samvad is another innovation supported by CDFI. Using the humble feature phone, Samvad can help deliver training in financial literacy to the underprivileged at nominal cost. This platform can have several applications with customized content to its users on a continuous basis. With all of this, CDFI is determined to facilitate the revolution of a less cash society, financial inclusion and a savings culture for millions in the country.